Well, sewage from Tijuana has overwhelmed an international treatment plant here in San Diego, resulting in 5 million extra gallons of raw sewage being pumped off of our coastline. KSI's Rafer Weigel uh, spoke with the Water Commission about why this happened and what's it going to take to fix it, and will it happen anytime soon? Rafer. Yeah, good evening, Logan. Dan was talking about fentanyl from Mexico. Now we're going to talk about sewage from Mexico. Tijuana pumping sewage into our water is nothing new, but a treatment plant partially shutting down as a result of it, that is recent. And as you said, Logan, an additional 5 million gallons of raw sewage is being pumped out into our shores. So what happened is, is that a sewage pipeline in Mexico broke back in August. They haven't fixed it yet, despite us asking them to please fix the problem. So in, because of that, an ex flow is overwhelming a local treatment plant, and that finally took its toll a few days ago. Our plant can handle 25 million gallons, but it's taking in 30 million gallons of raw sewage daily, and that has caused the shutdown of several tanks that treat the biggest pollutants. I spoke to the operations manager of the International Boundary and Water Commission, and he broke it all down for us. Take a listen. So with that flow comes uh, trash and sediment and other debris. It it causes wear and tear in the plant, and over a long period of time, it starts to take its toll. Okay, so last week, um, it, it finally overwhelmed our primary treatment. Now, in the primary treatment, we have uh, some uh, sedimentation tanks. The flow goes to the tanks, and this is where we remove the solids uh, from the wastewater. And then it goes to our secondary treatment, which is a different process. So. These five tanks were overwhelmed. We had to take them uh, out of operation. The flow is still going through, but it's not taking the solids out. So he insists that it's not a danger to beachgoers because that sewage is being pumped three and a half miles out into shore, but admits it's still not a good thing. The bottom line is this is Mexico's fault. He says they are constantly talking to the Mexican government saying, when are you going to get this pipeline fixed? And I asked him, what incentive does Mexico have to fix this? His answer was not very reassuring. We're going to bring that to you coming up at 5 o'clock. We're live in Imperial Beach. Rafer Weigel, KUSI News. Logan, let's send it back to you in the studio. It's just so unfortunate. Always a problem there in Imperial Beach with the sewage from Mexico going into the ocean there. Rafer, thank you.